Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with a London vlog today. I'm coming to you from a very cold London. It has got rather chilly again. Today is the 1st of March, so happy March to you. I hope your month gets off to a fabulous start. I've got a really nice afternoon ahead of me today. I'm off to meet Kate and Luke in London and we're going to have a really nice afternoon. We're gonna go and get a bit of food, I think, and then we're off to an event a little bit later on. We're going to Biscuiteers with Sophie Allport, so that should be very exciting. So I look forward to taking you along to that too, and I'm really looking forward to catching up with Kate. It's been a while, so she's making her way on the train from Norfolk. She's on her way up, and then myself and Luke are heading across at London to meet her at Liverpool Street Station. While I wait at the station, I always have a look for the robins that I always used to see here, but I haven't seen them here recently, so maybe they found a new spot to hang out. But yeah, the train is just pulling in now, so we'll jump on the train and head into town to go and meet Kate and Luke. Why do I always do that? <laughs> go to the wrong end of the platform, and now I'm running. Running for a train that I've been waiting 10 minutes for. <laughs> these flowers that we have painted on these columns at London Bridge Station, cheering the place up in time for spring. I think the idea is that they're growing because <laughs> we start with um, some grass down here and they get bigger as you go along. Just come out of London Bridge Station, as you can see we have a shard up there behind me and I'm heading over London Bridge and I'm going to walk because it's about a 20 minute walk which is okay. It's rather chilly today, I wish I'd bought some gloves. <laughs> My hand is slightly cold holding the camera out in front of me but yeah it's a kind of, it's a bit of a grey day in London but nevertheless it'll be nice to stretch the legs and get some steps in because I haven't really walked anywhere yet today apart from to the train station. I've just been at home all morning catching up on some editing. Lots of vlogs are coming your way. I've got a nice view across to Tower Bridge from here. It's rather windy today so apologies. I've forgotten to take my little uh, microphone muffler out with me. I don't know where that's gone. I keep finding it and then the kittens play with it and then I forget to put it back on the camera so I must remember to do that. And we can see St Paul's Cathedral across there. I'm hoping to do a tour of that soon. I think I'll vlog it if I do. I want to go up to the Whispering Gallery at the top. And now we're at the other side of the bridge. You can see a much better view of the Shard. And here we have the monument to the Great Fire of London. It's quite a nice walk to do actually if you're new to London and you want to kind of explore some of the landmarks. I've got some details about it here. I'm going to do a slight detour to show you a statue. Sorry, it's very noisy here. There's some work going on up there. But this is London's smallest statue that I'm about to show you. It's on the corner of East Cheap and Philpot Lane. So yeah, if you want to locate it, we have East Cheap and then Philpot Lane and we just walk along here and see if you can spot London's smallest statue. It is up there and it is two little mice. How tiny are they? Oh, How cool is that statue? So, Philpot Lane, just off of that is the walkie-talkie building and that is somewhere that I'm yet to visit but it has the Sky Garden which is free to visit and is meant to be incredible. And I think you just need to book tickets ahead of time, so I must book that in for this year as the days are getting warmer. We're just passing Leadenhall Market, which is a great place to come for a bite to eat because it's sheltered in there. So in terms of the mice statues, the tail is, well there's a few tails, so basically it's two brown mice and they are fighting over a piece of cheese or they could just be sharing the piece of cheese, who knows, because the stories all vary slightly and no one knows the exact truth as to why they were made, I believe, but I think one of the stories is that the workmen's sandwiches kept disappearing, so they wanted to kind of create a memory of the two mice that kept pinching the cheese from their sandwiches. There's a slightly darker story as well, and that is that there was a couple of workmen whose sandwiches were disappearing, and they got a bit hangry, had an argument, and they fell from the scaffolding to their death. What they didn't realise is that it was the mice that had been eating their sandwiches all along. So there's a few tales as well. If you Google the two mice statue or London's smallest statue, you will see those. But yeah, I need to get a rig on because I've realised that detour is making me run slightly late. Here we are, Liverpool Street Station, and it is quarter 
past three, which is absolutely perfect. Luke has messaged to say he's waiting outside Oliver Bonus. So let's go and find him. There he is, deeply engrossed in his book. Reunited! It's very noisy at the station, so you probably can't hear us. <laughs> These two are vlogging today, so I'm going to link their vlogs down below and you'll see us reunited on this. And cut! Hello. Right, we're at ZZ's. Time for a bite to eat. It is chilly, isn't it? We're in a wind trap. Let's get inside. <laughs> well, we are settled down. We've got a booth which we are delighted about. We like a booth, don't we? Oh, sorry, you've got some wheat. <laughs> You're in the wheat, <laughs> Teresa. Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> we are watered, we're not fed yet. We're looking at the menu, they've got some really nice new options. They've got some special guests at the moment, so yeah, we need a little, little spread. And we've got some pink Prosecco to celebrate being reunited. So cheers, everybody, and they've put some really cute little strawberries on them. Chin chin. Chin chin. Guys, cheers, everyone. Oh, sorry, oh my god, sorry, I'm ignoring that. Can I just get on? Okay, Oh, that's nice. You sort of smell the strawberry when you drink it when it's like that. Dinner's arrived. I've got the baked crab cannelloni. And Kate's gone for some chicken, is it? Chicken chips? Fish nice. Chips. <laughs> yeah, Luke's got a calzone pizza. Mm. Oh, that looks good. It looks lovely. Digging in. Just giving Kate Thank her you. charity shop find. Just match your mug. Yeah. It's so cute. It's perfect condition as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's brand new. Yeah. Or like unused because the belt's very. Oh, Lean on the back. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> that was nice. Sign of a good um, meal. Yeah. Having a lovely time. You're welcome. Yeah. This yeah. is delicious. The food is fantastic. I'm really enjoying my baked crab calano calano. Right, we've had our lovely dinner. Very enjoyable. We're now walking through Belgravia. It is Sophie Allport and we're going to be doing some Icing of biscuits mm. at Biscuiteers, which I've been to before. You might have remembered I popped in there. Well, with Luke, we yes. had an afternoon tea in there, didn't we? Which is very nice. Sip Smith. And I've Somebody been in there with Dainty hi. as well, which <laughs> which um, was very nice. We had the um, a drink outside the front, and there was a cardboard cutout of the Queen who oh very kindly God. joined oh, us. That place? Yeah, that's how we had it too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luke just worked out by that tree. We were admiring this lovely place. It's Look tonight. at this. It's really nice around here. This place looks fantastic. We've got lovely, yeah, all the white buildings around here. I do like Belgravia. I've never been around here much in the evening time. A lot of the restaurants and shops here have lovely displays outside them. You may remember the vlog that I did, which was Belgravia in Bloom. I think that was the pub I went to with Dainty, actually, just over there on a very rainy and thundery day. We're just heading into Eccleston Yard and we've got Biscuiteers Boutique just ahead of us here. I thought it blends in with the biscuit, so if it goes wrong. So we're now going to do these little figures, and there's loads of different designs that you can choose from. Hmm? So I'm all done. This is my my little character. It's based on somebody that I actually saw outside of this um, establishment when I was with Dainty Diaries. So Dainty will recognise this person. And yeah, I'm going to pop her in her box. It's time for her to go to bed. This is how it's meant to look, and this is my attempt. I tried. <laughs> Got home. 
home. I didn't get a chance to vlog saying goodbye to Kay because it was all a little bit of a rush at the end with having to go off and catch trains and things. But it was lovely to see Kate. We had such a nice little catch up and always great to see Luke as well, of course. So nice for the three of us to be reunited. And yeah, I think that's the first time we've all been to an event together as well. So that was really fab. I really enjoyed the Sophie Allport event at Biscuiteers and they've very kindly given me a little goodie bag so I just thought we'd have a cup of tea together. I've just made myself a, a nice peppermint tea in my new Sasson Bell mug from Poundland and yeah I'll just show you what's in here because there's some nice bits that I think you might be interested in. It's always quite noisy at those events as well so it can be a bit tricky to vlog so I hope the audio was okay. But yeah first of all we have this beautiful apron. As soon as I walked in I spotted this design on a table runner and on some napkins and it's this lovely like olive branch kind of thing. I actually saw before I got on the train today a truck delivering some olive trees and they were the really big ones. They were pretty much like full size or I don't know maybe like half full size but really sturdy and big and I was thinking my goodness those look fabulous imagine one of those on the roof garden I am growing an olive tree out there but it's only small but I think I need to trim it down and maybe give it a bigger pot and hopefully it will continue to grow and I will get one of those on my own eventually I could imagine the ones that you buy that size are very pricey but yeah how nice is this apron I absolutely love this fabric and it also has my name on it oh it's got pockets too which is delightful and yeah we have the Sophie Allport and Ewan embroidered on there so I absolutely love that I shall keep that in the kitchen when I'm doing any cooking or baking oh, and then we have a mug here it says fine bone china oh my goodness look at that design how fab is that oh that is stunning I feel like this is going to be one that's really nice to drink out of too. That is beautiful. Very nice for springtime. Sorry, the camera's struggling slightly there with the focus. I've just popped the filming lamps on. Oh, we have a bottle of rosé. This is the Mirabeau. And this is a lovely wine. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, Mirabeau en Provence. You know, I absolutely love a rosé. So I'm very pleased with that. And then we have from Biscuiteers. What do we have here? We have another apron how cute is this with a little rolling pin on it i really like this design with the building on it, it reminds me a little bit of liberty and i did get to bring home my biscuits that i iced so we have the jolly ginger and this is my design i hope this hasn't stuck let's peel that off there we are so i've designed this lady and this is a lady that me and dainty saw outside biscuiteers and she was a proper character she properly entertained us so i've designed my little um, what do they call them again biscuiteers J jolly ginger how lovely is the packaging by the way i think that's so nice oh hello you two what are you up to mittens it's just darted in here they're playing chase it is that time of the evening isn't it hello mittens and pumpkin has just jumped in the bag naughty pumpkin Come and say hello to everybody. I think Pumpkin is hoping for some Biscuiteers biscuits too. <laughs> Off you go. So yeah, um, I love this packaging. It is so lovely, isn't it? I think I'm gonna definitely save this box and use it for something or other. You could put some pens in here or something. And then these are my designs. Oh my goodness. I did my best. So we have the little lamb or the little sheep the Easter egg and the rabbit who is in a pot. I'm quite pleased with this kind of design. I think I did his paws a little bit big. But yeah, I did my best. I'm pleased with the bow on the Easter egg and I'm quite pleased with the texture on the sheep. Icing is a tricky old thing. The lady giving us the lesson made it look so easy and yeah, I found it challenging. I think we all did, but it was great fun. If you ever get the chance to do a biscuit icing workshop, in Biscuiteers, I would highly recommend it for a fun activity to do. I think they do run kind of workshops and classes in there. And it's a really cute little place and the area in Belgravia that they have the um, Biscuiteers Icing Cafe is fab, especially in the springtime as we head into spring. If you wanna see more of that area, do check out my Belgravia in Bloom vlog, which was up last year. I'll link that in the description box for you. Yeah, that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this little look around London with me, coming along to the event, and it was great to see Kate and Luke as well. If you did enjoy this video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I post new videos every single week, and I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and stick around. And don't forget, you can always catch me over on Instagram as well. It's Mr. Carrington, and also Mr. Carrington Home. Do come and say hello. 
hello over there. But I might have to get involved with my biscuits now I've got a cup of tea on the go. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.